guess what, peeps? We're back! You thought you could get rid of us? Not really. Nope. No, no, no. Well, we were just finishing talking to each other about our new song that we just made. We're pretty proud of it. What's the song called? Simple Thing. What are the trends this season, huh? I wouldn't know because I'm home all day. <clears throat> Rainbow Slappy Wristbands. Like, yeah, those ones. I, no, I thought it was um, Diego Luna. Oh, yes. Diego Luna. That and texture. Insert, insert uh, Diego Luna right here with a, a Yama, like, over here somewhere. There. Hashtag, <laughs> let go my Diego. So, when are you guys going to show me that uh, presentation of <laughs> Diego Luna? <laughs> Back to that after practice. After this message. Uh, welcome to the band member edition of What Did You Do During Your Hiatus? And why are you laughing? This is serious. This is serious business. Scared. I am trying to audition to be in this band. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yeah, for real. Like this is like this is like serious business. This is for our YouTube channel. Okay, so I alphabetized my DVDs. A through Z. I've been trying to songwrite more. Sure on Seth Rollins for the SummerSlam, which happened. I just started my senior year in high school and Yay! I tried to fix my dresser and like be all carpenter person and, and instead I broke it and made it worse. All I have been really doing lately is just going to school and just like watching YouTube videos and watching shows. And I got into Diego Luna more. Running the kids back and forth in school, just you know, all that mom life stuff that's been going on. I went swimming the other day, <laughs> spreading the word about this band, you know, like I've been like preaching the word to everyone to listen. The gospel to. of the gospel to everyone, and I'm gaining new believers, you know. We're proud of you for doing that. Yeah, thank you no for problem. the promo. Thank you for the constant promo. I also went to YouTube more and listen to more musica. What suggestions do you have? Hippocampus, Campus, Real Estate, Hip Cub, Valley, A Man I Trust, To Another, Johnny Goff, Ember Run, DuckTales, Sea Fret. I have news, so I am the manager of Collateral Damage. I'm the She's a up. promoter I'm slash manager. How do you feel about <clears throat> practicing again with the other bandmates to perform for your next show? I'm glad to be back with the band again because we have new stuff to do, we have new songs to do, we have more enthusiasm, more ambition, more people to... We have more fans that would enjoy our music. I know I hope that in the future they enjoy all our music. First of all, I was surprised we were even invited back to do another show. Mm -hmm. um, You're here. I was I was a little shocked. I was like, wait, what? Are they sure? Are, are, are they sure? Are you sure? Regardless, it was another great opportunity to have. So you know, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I like the routine we had of practicing anyway, even though the majority of the time we were just doing this. And you know, then we get into our music, um, but it's just something to do and it keeps me busy, keeps my mind up, like everything else, so I'm happy. I'm excited because like this was such a fun hobby to do and now it's like becoming much cooler. It's fun, it's fun doing this and I'm happy to play new music. Anything else to add? Buy our pins. <laughs> Not really, I mean, you know, besides buy the pins, buy the pins. By your pins, I swear. I put a lot of work into that. Thank you, Cezanne. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for um, joining us for this interview, <laughs> Melanie Rodriguez. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Opportunity. Thank you, Faith Rodriguez, for coming in and giving us your time to answer our questions. We appreciate it. Come give us awkward handshakes. Mm -hmm. We have a show on September 15th uh, at North End. Uh, it's at 7, and we're playing with a bunch of bands called the Stepdads from Washington. And we have the Swicks. The Swicks. We talked about them before, so them two Stepdads are good too. And then Jorge Fuss with uh, the Carpet Cleaners. So that's pretty cool too. And then us. No applause. No but. applause. But yeah. Also, my cousin. 
made this uh, wonderful drum, drum art drum art on the bass drum. And this is called Keeping Up with Collateral Damage. That's made by my friend Luce. Yeah, I, I have it in my room. Shout out to her. Look, see, I told you I alphabetized my movies. Oh. Lego, my Diego. Oh, squishy. <laughs> and then that's the end of it. But of course, the famous YouTube video that started it all. Yaba. I have always wanted to touch him. I like the texture of Yaba is something I, I need to discover. And then I'm obsessed with the texture of Yaba. You never dreamed about touching Yaba. I mean, it must be quite disgusting. Speak for yourself. It's quite an interesting character, and uh, I don't know, that texture of, of his skin is just something that obsesses me. <laughs> Yaba. <laughs> that part always gets me. This so part, yeah, like, gets me. Discover. Oh my god. I'm like, why do you want to discover that? Yaba, come on. Touching his, you know, like his belly. Like, oh, I'm so tempted. Java, I want to touch Java. I know it sounds gross, but. <laughs> yeah, I need to the kiss with Java. It's my work, but you know, nothing's better than. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Collateral damage over and out.